So if you guys are familiar with general aviation or if you've been watching this channel long enough, you'd probably know what a TFR is. If not, I'm gonna explain it. So a TFR is a temporary flight restriction. It's basically a small area, normally a circle of restricted airspace that you're not allowed to fly in temporarily, as the name implies. They happen around sporting events when there's a ton of people. They happened when that building got exploded that we flew around. And they happen a lot around here because of presidential movement. So down 30 miles from here, President Trump has a golf course. And throughout the summer, he visits the golf course often. And every time he comes to town, we get shut down here in my little hometown um, because he's within a certain distance. In the past, I've done plenty of videos where we've relocated to get outside of the TFR so that we can still continue flying. But today, I have a little trick up my sleeve and I think we might just get away with flying during a TFR, hopefully without getting shot down. All right, that was exciting. If I didn't explain well enough by now, this is a summer camp that they have at the local airport. This is the airport I learned to fly at. I've done these summer camps when I was a wee lad. So I like to come back and do as many like demos for kids and stuff as I can. The freaking highlight, everyone wanted to try on the little Adam 80 and they started like a contest to see who could lift it. So pretty cool. We're gonna go in and I'm gonna talk about some radio controlled stuff maybe some more paramotors, we'll see. But good demo, mad success. Oh, just making a little iced Americano action for the afternoon. Couple things going on here. Apparently this afternoon from 6.30 to 9, as long as I've done the UTC to EST conversion correctly, apparently the TFR lifts uh, for those hours. And that means we should have a session tonight at the park. The weird thing about it is there is still a TFR that's going to be happening, but we did the measurements and it legit comes to the edge of the soccer field. So if we fly from the park, we can pretty much take off and fly to the west. But if we fly anywhere to the east, we're in the TFR. So that'll be interesting. Hopefully we don't stir up any trouble over there, but that's the plan for tonight. I'm gonna work on editing videos because I'm still working on the Iceland stuff. Then we'll go over to the park tonight and hopefully get a good flight in. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm probably way out of focus. You're not. Oh, crispy. You're crispy. <laughs> What's over there? I see nothing wrong right now, but there's this window from like 6.30 to 9 and should be fine. I'm still not gonna go that way at all. Hopefully the Secret Service doesn't show up or something. What would happen if they did? I don't know. I mean, Two I little F-18s would come attack your paramotor? I don't think they'd like shoot me down or anything, but I can imagine I'd get a stern talking to and maybe like a fine. So if anyone rolls up, I'm gonna speed bar that way and <laughs> land in the woods. Okay. I'm gonna hike out, I'll send you my pin. Okay. And I think we'll be fine. See, you would think that that is a normal dog, but it's probably actually a robot. Freaking secret service labradoodle. Robot dog has cameras inside him. He's gonna see me take off, wait till I land. He's gonna run up and latch onto my leg. And then they got me. It's over after that. It's over. I 
and listen to Kendrick Lamar. Oh my god. That means you're gonna make bad decisions. I can't hear you. Well. If you're using a Sina and you're still rocking the stock speakers and you haven't done the headphone adapter upgrade, you're missing out. Phone calls, comps, music sounds so much better with headphones in. Right now, listen to a little Kendrick Lamar and, uh, you know, really gets the blood pumping. Especially when it's turbulent, throw on some rap music, makes you feel so much better. Some people like Bieber, some people like a little Katy Perry, like my man Shane, that's his go-to, but you know, whatever you need, throw on some music, enhances your experience, what do you say, let's go up to the top of that hill or something, do a little flying up there, Secret Service can't catch you if you're below the hilltops, right, the radar doesn't work down to the surface for a paramotor, freaking I don't know, the scary part is, they're probably watching this video right now, analyzing my habits. They might actually be watching me right now, like real time. Not like this video, but like, I don't know. They're up there looking down. The top of the hill, the eagle's nest. The winds are hauling up top here. Bending those trees right over on top. See if we experience any ridge lift. I can feel it. At idle there. I don't think it's enough to sustain off this hill, but it's something. It exists. It's making itself known. Look at the valley down there, all beautiful. I feel like I'm exposed up here. Even though freaking there's nothing going on right now. There's going to be a TFR reinstated at 9. And the reason is Trump was going down to do some speech or something. I forget where he was going, but he was leaving New Jersey for like a couple hours to give a speech, then come back. Um, but I figure all the people out here monitoring stuff, however they do that, probably don't just go to sleep. surprise sunset's actually in three minutes it snuck up on us it's getting so early now you can see winds aloft are high i'm almost parked right here but freaking sun setting over there somewhere The wind drift is real. All right, time to pack her in. I've had a good time. Till next time, little park after this TFR lifts. Whoopie doop. Do you know how many 
many cells are in an average paraglider? 28. You would think I would know, but I kinda don't. Don't I you count? No. I think it's something like 58 or 60 or... On, what? On a wing like this. I don't know, I'll have to ask Google later. 58 or 60? Yeah. Also, <laughs> for anyone that's like, knows the shit about like slalom wings, I feel like my free ride is getting a little bit elderly and I'm probably gonna be in the market for a new slalom wing. But my problem is, I've tried the Viper, and I don't want another Viper as like an all-arounder. I've tried the Carve and I really liked it, but I didn't get enough time on it to get a feel in different conditions. I've never tried a Warp, but I'm hesitant because Dudek is like, all the Dudeks I've flown are really hard to inflate. I've had a Snake, and I don't want to go back to a Snake. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna fly a Doberman because those shits blow up and <laughs> Not going down that road. So yeah, let me know, like, uh, if you were me, what slalom wing would you get? I'm probably, like, I've thought about getting, like, a 17 or 18 meter, just a little bigger, you know, slow things down. That or I'd go with a 16, but I don't know what I'd get. I'd feel like a dummy if I just got another new free ride. Maybe, like, make your own. Make my own? Yeah, called like, the Rottweiler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just stitching it out of like garbage bags and freaking dental floss. No, see here's the thing though, like if I had unlimited funds, I would get like a 14 meter free ride and that would just be my batshit wing that like freaking I could swoop in from like down 78, like exit 25 I'd be hooking in. Or, well and, I would get a 17 or 18 meter wing for like all around general everyday flying. Freaking like, it, the 14 meter I feel like you'd have to be so careful with, cause like, you have a motor out, you're freaking burning in like a hot comet. You're gonna tomahawk to the cornfield and like break every bone in your body. It'd be worth it. See that guy just did two laps around the parking lot and he's definitely with the Secret Service. And, so today. and there's a cricket in the van. <laughs> that never happens. That's a spy cricket. Do you hear it? <laughs> <laughs> There's legit a Secret Service cricket in the van. We got Rita's, and uh, that's about all we got for this video. If you guys haven't, we've got new shirts in the store right now. What's left is left. Once they're gone, they're gone. There's maybe a handful of these fly or die shirts, but I'm talking about the uh, neon flare t-shirts. Check them out, see if there's still any more left. Till the next episode, hopefully the TFR will be over. If not, we'll be zooming out somewhere to go fly somewhere else. I'll see you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace. Okay. Zzz.